I reckon I could beat you now. Thomas let off steam loudly. Rubbish, he hissed fiercely. It's those main line engines. They dither about on the viaduct and then blame Sir Topham Hatt's workmen. It's just an excuse for laziness, if you ask me. One day, James was later than ever at the junction. I'm sorry, Thomas, he puffed. I was held up at the station, and the viaduct made it worse. It's lucky for you I'm a guaranteed connection, grumbled Thomas. Before James could answer, he puffed importantly away. Come along, come along, he panted to the coaches. Annie and Claravel did their best, but Thomas soon found that he couldn't save much time. Suddenly, Thomas saw Bertie ahead. His radiator was steaming. What's the matter? asked Thomas. You should be at the station by now. You're late. I feel dreadful, moaned Bertie, all upset inside, and driver says he can't make me better. Thank goodness you're late too. Can you take my passengers, please? They'll never get home otherwise. Of course, agreed Thomas. He now felt sorry for Bertie and promised to get help at the next station. Thomas set off again. Already he felt much more cheerful, and Bertie's passengers, travelling in Annie and Clarabel, all reached home safely. When Bertie was better, he came to thank Thomas. I am sorry I teased you about being late, he said. That's all right, said Thomas. I'm glad I could help. There are times when being late isn't such a bad thing after all. With a last cheerful greeting, the two friends went back to work.